to Crystal Palace versus Liverpool. More chat later, half time and at the end. But uh, enjoy the game for now. Spencer, 27, Damien Delaney, and number 44, Joe Brown. Make yourselves heard! Come on, you pilot! Fan. As I said, a great first half, so let's have a look at the highlights now on the big screen. Liverpool fan, I haven't said it yet. I've got to keep it quiet, I've got to keep it quiet because I've sneaked Liverpool fan in. Right? Time. It's only half time, Palace are one up. We were two up against Man United the other week, obviously lost, and uh, I now get to see the front three for Liverpool up front and personal because I'm. Uh, Close. So what I won't, I won't give any match review at the moment. Palace are one 0 up for a penalty. Um, but half time, hopefully I'm still laughing. Eddie's pissed off. <laughs>
Palace fan, I knew that was coming. Um, I didn't think it would be so narrow. I thought Liverpool were going to come back and do us three or four one there, but happy boy. Man, a few words. We're getting talking later. We're getting talking later. I thought both teams were in it. Neither team deserved to win by a lot, but you know, Liverpool's quality were brilliant. Zaha. Didn't really get going in that game. Benteke, I haven't seen any replays back, but sitting here live, Benteke missed a couple of sitters. Oh, and Wayne Hennessy. Never mind, let's get inside and see the rest of the clan. I'm not sitting in my usual seat, so I'm not with the uh, the usual lot, but um, let's go and find him now. So I wasn't sitting with Bob today, but I just caught up with Bob, and obviously I was sitting down one end and you were sitting down the other end. So I think everyone's saying uh, Mane should have been sent off, is it? Do you agree? Uh, yes, I saw exactly what happened for his booking for being uh, diving, and the lino didn't give it at all. Straight away he was saying no, so he's going to get booked. The second half, he thought he should have had a foul, fell to the floor and pulled the ball back. Anywhere else where he hasn't been booked, he's off because he'll get booked. But the ref just didn't do anything and that's why there was a bit of a fracas. Overall, I'm proud of the boys. Liverpool had that little bit of touch of class. Sal Salah has one clear-cut chance he scores. Our one, Benteke, has two good chances and misses. That's the difference. But football's a tough game, but I'm confident in the last six games we'll get enough points that we won't get relegated. So, but I am gutted. So do you, do you agree? Like I, I thought Ben Teke was playing like a number 10 role, but with no one in front of him. Do you know what I mean? So when he got the ball, there's still 30 yards to cover until un, until you get into their area. So it was like a bit of a up front on his own with nothing else really. Zaha filled the gap a couple of times, but Zaha wasn't really in the game, was he really? I got the impression that that um, number 10 role was for James McArthur, but he was also having to struggle to keep up with a quick, quick speed that Liverpool passed the ball. The only thing I will say is that I can forgive most players if they put in a shift. Benteke, I'm afraid today, ain't going to the World Cup. Definitely ain't going to the World Cup on that performance because he just doesn't put in any effort. He doesn't do anything. I could forgive him if he gets annoyed, but he doesn't even get annoyed. No. Zaha at one stage was having a go at him yeah. and he never had a go back. At the end of the day, we need everyone to put in a shift. I just pray that Alexander Sorloff, who I saw today before the game, is fit to play the remainder of the games and I'm confident we'll do it. Too right. Well, I came with my mate Les today, who's a die-hard uh, Liverpool fan. He has he's met the lot. He knows Liverpool back to front. So I'm going to talk to Les on the way home and see what he thought from a Liverpool point of view. He's a happy, happy Liverpool fan today, even though he, he said Liverpool didn't really turn up today. So um, high standards from uh, the top six clubs. Two happy Liverpool fans here. Look at these two. Look. I feel really tall. <laughs> but they are at, they are at the distance. They are at the distance. Right. So happy, without a doubt. Yeah, definitely. A Palace question for you. Who do you reckon watching Palace for the first time live this season? Who is the best player on the Palace team? I reckon the right back Wan Bissaka. Wan Bissaka, yeah? yeah. Good player. What about yourself? I think Zaha. Okay, today, yeah. I didn't think he had a good game today, but you know he didn't. But he's his influence on the game when he when he plays. And as Liverpool fans, are you secretly laughing? You just saw Ben Teke play. <laughs> yes, money well spent by Palace. Yeah. Tongue in cheek, but it's normally Liverpool that get robbed for players. So you bought him for thirty million, and then we got him from you for thirty million. Do you reckon we could flog him for thirty million, or do you reckon we've lost money on him? Lost. A bad investment. I sort of agree with you. I think 20 million, and it, now he's just done nothing. Two goals in a season. It's unbelievable. Anyway, Liverpool players today. Man of the match. It's funny because where I was sitting, I thought second half, Milner put the ball in a lot. I thought Milner was making it tick. So you were, you know, but he went off to me. So. If you, if you gave the whole team an average performance, I think it would be about a 5, 6 out of 10. Yeah, you, you didn't turn up first half, no. definitely. 
But go on, who was man of the match? Got to be. Come on, someone. This is Robertson play well. Okay, left back Robertson. I thought okay. Firmino played well. Firmino and Robertson. Yeah. Okay. And you're both happy boys. Two one win. Oh, of course, beating Palace. Of course. Anytime we beat Palace, I'm happy. We it's are. A, we are a bogey team, aren't we? A little bit. We are. You are. Yeah, you are a bogey. Team. Not today. Not today. No Suarez or Gerard today. <laughs> <laughs> no Dwight Gao <Gale> either. <laughs> no Glenn Murray. <laughs> no, I still got nightmares about that. I still got nightmares. All right. Safe journeys. Thank you. Thank you. Right, leaving the ground now after that Palace game. It's funny when I asked a Liverpool fan to name man of the match and he took about two minutes to think about it. That just shows you they didn't really, they didn't really play that well, but that's what Liverpool do to you. Anyway, thanks for watching the vlogs. Not been around for quite a while. The last vlog I did Palace-wise was West Ham. Um, so since then, I think there have been Everton game, Newcastle game, Tottenham game, Man United game, Huddersfield game. It's been quite a few games. Um, tonight, obviously, Anti Joshua fights Joseph Parker. Uh, if you want to watch my vlogs back a bit, go searching because I did a vlog on AJ versus Klitschko, which, which was a good day out. If you're a boxing fan, the other week I did George Groves versus Chris Eubank Jr. So, if you like boxing, check them out. Other than that, um, it was an okay game, it wasn't a brilliant game, game today. I've got to say, it may be where I was sitting, but Liverpool fans were the loudest I've heard at Sellers Park this season. So, well done to Liverpool fans today. Cheering on your team. And it's always good to win away, isn't it? And also, what a bastard journey you've all had. Bank holiday Saturday from Liverpool, coming to London for a 12.30 kickoff. Well done. Anyway, enjoy the fight tonight. I'm gonna go Joshua early. Three, four rounds, it'll be finished. Bye.